Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's see who our next opponent is. Things here are tainted. Tainted, you say? Aha. Uh -huh. Got the Queen of Plague. I've already preset the decks for this adventure. We'll have a couple new encounters, hopefully. Quite a few if we're really lucky, and hopefully successful. And some new equipment we haven't seen yet. This dungeon is about curses. And curses being inconvenient in more ways than one. We already encountered the Cursed Gambler in a different playthrough, previously. The Cursed Gambler has a very big chance of giving you a curse, and there's a good chance we're going to have to take some curses on. But if we sell the curses, then our equipment will go down. And on top of that, we have Ratman and Poison. Queen of Plague, Terror of Mankind. You will not be the one to bury her. Oh, won't I? Well, let's see. One thing I appreciate, and it's harder to show in the Let's Play, is that there, there's more than one... Uh, saying from the dealer whenever you look at an enemy. He said one thing. There's plague here. There's death here. But he has some alternate lines. He gives a little bit of replayability in case you have to exit the game or you have to keep trying. Banish your curses with caution while facing the queen. And on top of that, we're a nomad, so we can't simply stock up on equipment. You know you risk the true and final death at this table, as I risked my life in ages past. These are the sort of exchanges I find most promising. I put this ring in there because it was new and unidentified. It's pretty nice if we get gold. I don't know if I'll be spending gold, but there's one particular card in this encounter deck which will need me to pick up some gold along the way. If we get there, we'll see. Aha, the blood auction. Unholy creatures. I'll forgive you for arriving here once, but I hope it is the last time. We play for a token now. Bid some blood. One eighty health is a lot. Kind of gives you an idea of how high health can go. Um, Lion Prince Fate lets you accumulate health by killing monsters. And you can, of course, get more health over the course of a run, but it's a lot easier in something like Endless Mode, or if you know some other mechanic that I haven't shown off here yet. We are just at 100 health. 60 is the safest we can do. And you can see there's a huge chance of failure here. A choice. Select your desire. If we want to do this, we'll have to get a little bit luckier. Maybe that will come up soon. Maybe not. Again, a token is at stake. Ah, uh, Nomad's Desert 2. Once again, we have to go through the desert. Okay, once again, I'm not exactly sure if this is intentional. According to my notes, the solution is the same as the first. Let's try.
nasty. Ouch. Interesting. Same as before. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I'm wondering if this was intentional on the part of the devs. Create the same solution as the first in the Nomad Desert Chain, that once you eventually did find what the solution was, it became easier in subsequent encounters, so as not to discourage you. What I wish we had gotten was a bit more gold, since that Holy Order card is great if you have blessings, but we just started. And this ate food. Hopefully, as a nomad, we'll be able to survive. It's a little bit harsh to get this now. You'll need more food, I think. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, this is crappy. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Fortunate. When has an adventurer not taken a chance to do something really foolish? Anything safe. Just for a moment, did we interrupt a Cthulhu summoning here? I mean, I get the names are different, but I sense something. Ah, something changed in our equipment there. We'll look later. Small chance challenge. Interesting. I don't see the difference here. I see we've lost the weapon. Oh, lovely. But we've cleared the encounter and we have more food. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. And I can try the blood auction again. Hey, why not? Is 
This could be horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, how about that? And gift wrapped and sent to us. Well, fine. Okay. A voyage across the ocean or merely a trip down the river. Soon the game will end. I will take your piece from the board. It will be done. Unlike other opponents, I will remember you fondly. That's a very nice thing of you to say, especially as I look like I'm about to die. Ah, there we go. A shop. There are a couple things I want here and I might not be able to get them. Arrow cutter, an artifact that stops shields. Soldier's ring. Soldier's Ring is what we got from uh, the Soldier's Training Fate. Not bad, and I want it. But I can't get it. So we're going to settle for food. Because ultimately, clearing the dungeon is most important. Few have seen the homelands of the lizard men, and fewer still survive the experience. Well, this is going to be um, interesting. I don't want to fight the plague of Jack, the Jack of Plague. I might have to fight both, but let's fight Dust without equipment with traps. I absolutely intend to let them kill themselves off if they can. And I can't uh, lock anything. I can't see them attack. I can't get the warnings. This is tedious. It's not the worst encounter in the world. If you get a good set of monsters, like right here, the two of dust, you'll be fine. But I could have gone against the Jack of Plague with only a Rusty Axe. And that's kind of ridiculous. Fortunately, you get a lot out of this. I'm sure you are grateful for that. A goodly amount of food. We want to try and free the prisoners here. We're nice after all. Hey, not bad. This will get us the token. If we'd failed, we would have had to fight more monsters, which isn't great. But at least this way, we'll get more. And we get a very nice blessing. Enough maybe to feed this priest. I want to see if we can get a good blessing here. Maybe. Oh well, good enough. 
I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. This is getting interesting. We've already got two blessings. Self-righteous. I'll look at it briefly. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they possess. It's a fantastic way to start a beautiful blessing stack and makes any other blessing you have instantly more powerful. Toxic blood is nice, but with self-righteous, I don't actually have to get hit for toxic blood to matter. Ah, but the white minotaur continues. Choose from these options. And the hunt continues. You might be sensing a pattern here. You're right. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Right, none of the previous encounters were for a token. This is a series of encounters which is far better done with a fate or an item or anything that will help increase your luck. We don't quite have what I'm hoping for. There is a blessing that would help us, and there is a fate that would help us. We're just a nomad in the world. But luck seems to be with us. Oh, sure, take my blood. Like, maybe I'll even be lucky here. Or I could die horribly, you know. Uh... But at least here it's not hard to follow. More is definitely not a good idea. chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. Soldier's ring is taunting me again. Uh, innocence would be a nice shield here. 
not for the cooldowns, but to know where the encounters are so I can prepare. But I don't really have a choice. I might be a nomad, but that doesn't mean I want to starve. Ah, this I was hoping for. Because I need a slightly better weapon. And, oh god. Okay. Not the best thing. I kept that in case I would be at low health with the Nomad. I would have preferred the Rat Cleaver. But you know what? Hey, it's a 32 damage weapon. As pleases you. We'll do what we can. <laughs> there are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. But at what price? Look at that. Able to hurl deadly balls of magical fire, consume other enemies in order to restore her health. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Yeah. We have to do something about the Lich, or it will remain locked and locked. And honestly, what's the worst that could happen? A boss monster, that's what. That's right. The Lich, you could call it a uh, suit, you could call it a uh, boss. Well, actually, we're, we're well prepared for this. Thank you, Desperate Measures. The Lich doesn't always attack super fast. And does cast these balls that I have found a little bit hard to dodge in the past. But the real reason the Lich is annoying is this uncanny ability the Lich has to just teleport after you've hit enough times. And if you manage to attack the Lich right after it appears, you do have a little bit of a window. And if I attempt to reflect this, this will also make the Lich move. Uh, okay. A little extra health, but it is only a momentary respite. I want to take a look at this. Why have just one weapon when you can have them all? Not necessarily bad. Mortal Whimsy is definitely a weapon that I would try. In fact, for the sake of this LP, let's give it a shot. Desperate, measured, Desperate Measures was incredibly useful in defeating the Lich. I have never managed to deal with the Lich that quickly usually with a different weapon and without anything giving you massive combat advantages it will take a lot longer and that means there's more room for slip up but once you defeat the side enemies the lich is not too bad just it is a unique encounter just briefly mercenary contract i didn't get to show it off like i wanted to could i use the gold Let's do Mortal Whimsy. I see you trust a chance to deliver you. Very well. Play on. Because we are getting gold from being a nomad and selling desperate measures. Were you hoping this was the end? No. Another floor awaits. Ah, a crappy layout.
and a goblin. There's a token in it for you if you win. We're having another shot at this. This is an encounter that killed me. Uh, inattentiveness and traps that were pretty close together. This is more of the same, though. Oh, mortal whimsy turned into an axe? Well, that's crappy. I'm going to take it a little bit slower while still trying to collect gold here. This is actually a pretty nasty layout because one wrong turn. Ah, well, you see it down there. Treasure room. Now all I need to do is not be a massive fool like last time and rush headlong into whatever trap is right near the exit. Or I just need to be more attentive when I dodge. <laughs> Mr. Lionel didn't get us this time. There's no strength like hidden strength. Sadly, I am still a nomad. And I don't know what I, I don't know what's gonna happen with my food. But this is still money. It's often hard to determine the provenance of an artifact, but this cleaver was clearly forged after the first invasion. This is what I wanted. Fantastic. For once, lucrative, not deadly. Let's try a look at the treasure chest again. A choice. Select your desire. Ooh. So the first failure is not an automatic failure, thankfully. Win this and claim my token. And I know this isn't a mimic. So we just need to be lucky enough. Uh. Beautiful. These cards have been very good to us so far. This. I not to play a chance. I only contend with the most serious of games. Ooh. I did not want to meet the cursed gambler. And if you decline, you get punished. Don't you find it interesting to consider that you're sitting at my table to play our game, recalling sitting at a table playing another game? Circles and cycles without end. But can I decline this one? Thankfully, I am in a state that allows me to do that. Your situation is starting to look hopeless. 
Aha, but now we have gold. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Now I want to buy rings. I want rings. Now, let's see if we can use your skills to acquire more than corpses. I also want food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. That should be good. Local peasant, I would I keep in just in case I want to reveal the map. We're at a point where I'm not actually sure I need this. Let me just double check something quick. One food for map card. Nah. Ah, uh, there we go. Soldier's training. I'll pass that up. We got that from the soldier's training fate. We could essentially fight a bunch of people and get some stuff out of it. And while it would be nice, there's already enough combat in this game. We might do it later. I can hear her summoning her children. This fight will be bloody. Ah, it looks like we made it to the level. Let's see if I can stock up on a last few things. Blessings. Now, this is one of the times I could buy food. That would be nice. But I do more damage with my blessings. We don't care about undead. I don't care about gold as much anymore. But critical strike could be useful. Very nice indeed. And on top of that, with our blessing damage stack, now we should make short work of the queen. Not a good day to be in Stiegel. So few are. No. On the last floor, I want our food. And we can ask her for a blessing. Let's do that. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. Treasure picker is useful. I don't think we're going to run into a situation where we need that anymore. But if for some reason we do, it'll be nice. Still not enough for a loan. Ah, okay. This is unfortunate. This next encounter for at least in the underworld needs rings but let's first do this part you'll notice he hasn't offered a token up for grabs that's because this is the first card in the encounter chain this time like uh, the few we had with the white minotaur the next encounter does require some rings, and I couldn't find them in time. It's almost amusing to think of being lost, looking at the world like this. Your destination is merely a step onto another card. Lost in the desert. Well, we could pray to the old god. We're gonna wander.
worst possible outcome. We're not going to die from this, thankfully. Oh, well, I say that. Now, with our setup, we should be equipped to deal a lot of damage as long as we avoid all the um, long-distance enemies. I am trying to take them out right now without taking damage. Fantastic. So the ranged ratmen are not too much of a big deal. Just have to get to them. You notice I'm actually being pretty lucky here. The musket, the killed musketeers are not too bad. And although we don't have a weapon that is best against the skeletons, we can still take them down rather easily. Let's just take care of him quick. Yeah. So my setup is actually pretty fortunate. I have enough blessing that they are increasing the amount I do, which for Ratman is beautiful and will hopefully help me in the fight against the queen. And the skeletons would be far worse off. Oh, hey. And the skeletons can get poisoned. These are not your grandpappies, undead. Yeah. Our blessing setup is fortunate. Um, as long as we don't take too much health damage to the queen, or we can get a little bit of food, then we might be pretty well off. Oh, well, hey. The token requires getting more success than that. When I dreamed long ago, my dreams were of flight. A giant eagle. The card, if the card is any indication, let's see what the bird does. The flavor text here can change depending on what are the tokens you've encountered it's drawn from a pool. And we've already acquired the token. But Eagle is getting higher and higher. I'm going to wait it out and see. This outcome, the huge success outcome for waiting out the eagle ride, will drop you in a nearby position. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Holy Forge, however, is not really useful right now. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. I can't do anything here, unless somehow this is the metal ore down here. It's not. The metal ore was here, we didn't get it. But I don't recall seeing it anywhere on the map. It's time to meet the queen. A combat even I have waited to see. Majestic. A totem that spreads their toxic damaging filth. We'll see what that's about. Play for a token now. That totem looks nasty. But I want to deal with the minion. Now, let's see. I want to show this off. At some point, yep. You notice what the queen is, or was being spewed at me? I can't block it. I can block spears. 
But I can't block this totem. And I am going to want to take it out. Because it spews a substance at me. And the queen is stuck. Fantastic. Well, I have managed to make the game bug out slightly. So, the totem has a short range. Um, and uh, you can probably see here, since I can now look, that's a dead plague rat tied down on their back, and their stomach is festering. You want to get rid of the totem if you can, since it can't really be blocked. But the queen... Come on, move. We'll attack you with this ball, that if you let it, will pull you towards her, and block you into an attack you can counter. Her other attack, though, yeah. I got very fortunate here. The rat cleaver was fantastic. I didn't even need to use its ability or feathered ice since the rat fell. And my blessing stack with self-righteous was so big, everything went down in a flash. You might not be as lucky. The rat kind will not easily recover from this loss. A million half-orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? You have earned your prize today. just gets deeper and deeper into the jugular. is now defeated and no longer locked into the deck thankfully but mr lionel and his goblin king's halls are still there this. Fire in the Deep is a special newly locked encounter. We'll see what that's about. I have only begun to challenge you. But we'll see that next time. Thanks for watching and see you later.